1961, Kitty Ann Quigley Taller took the title of the first ever Miss Last Chance Stampede. Now, 61 years later, things are about to come full circle as she serves as the parade's Grand Marshal. And let's hope this experience goes a little bit smoother than her first one. He just started to totally, it was like right out of the chutes. So I simply just put my hand on my thigh with a lot of weight and my legs were really holding on and we <laughs> the whole time. So um, I finished the ride and I thought, well, I figured I didn't have any chance to win anyway. So uh, I went about my merry business and they granted me a rewrite. So this was good. <laughs> Anyway, as he says, the rest of the story is the girl that was Miss Rodeo America loaned me her horse to do my rewrite on. Well, we were just like peaches and cream. We just did sliding stops with a zip, zip and a, we had a beautiful ride. So that was happy, happy news for me. Kitty Ann's dad started the Last Chance Stampede, so being the parade's Grand Marshal couldn't be more special. I love parades, and I have fun in them, and I hoop and holler, and, and I just am honored to be part of, again, again, the Last Chance Stampede. And maybe it is my last chance. Her rodeo journey didn't end in Montana. She then went on to work for the Calgary Stampede for 13 years and has recently landed in the Montana Cowboy Hall of Fame. But her greatest accomplishment of all is her family. I think having at age 37, having our daughter take and taller walker because she's been just a joy to me and she has more intestinal fortitude than I have, so yes. She and my husband are, and my, I have two darling, darling stepdaughters or daughters in their families. I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful, grateful for loyal friends, and I'm grateful for Montana. For more on Kitty Ann, you can find it on montanasports.com. In Helena, Kennedy Broadwell, MTN Sports.